Alright, so uh, this is my second time recording this little tutorial. So this is a tutorial on how to, um, here let me switch to inventory. How to mask out, how to vertex mask from Blender and export that into Embergen. So right now if you import a mesh into Embergen, by default when you connect geometry, the whole thing catches on fire, which works for most cases, but sometimes when you want to get specific, you can do things like mask out with colors and have certain parts of your mesh on fire. So here's a little tutorial on how to do that through Blender because uh, there's not too much documentation on it right now. So let's say you have a mesh right now that's animated. There we go. Let's say um, you want to have certain parts of it on fire. So here's how you do that through Blender. So you would go to Vertex Paint and then Right now, by default, from what I've heard, so your um, your mesh wouldn't be colored at all, it's white. Um, I've heard there's glitches with Embergen, so uh, by default you would want to set a one solid color, one solid, solid vertex color. So we're going to go ahead and do that right here. You go to paint, set vertex colors. There we go. So there, your whole mesh is green right now, so if you just wanted that, you could have that whole thing on fire, but let's say we set a red color and then start painting in we could have just these wings on fire by by themselves let's do that real quick so here we go we would paint these and let's say your mesh you're done painting your mesh what you would have to do now is you'd have to go to vertex uh, object data actually there it is and then go to your color attributes and right now by default it's uh set wrong it's going to be vertex color but you want to go to vertex bike color and then go ahead and press OK. And then right now you'd basically be done setting up your mesh for Embergen. So now what you do is just go ahead and have this selected file export FBX because that's like the only thing that works for Embergen at the moment. Make sure you do just selected objects so you're not exporting your whole scene if you have a scene in Blender. All right, so then I already have this exported, so I'll just switch back to Embergen. So now we're in Embergen. You have your new uh, max out mesh imported. So now what you would do, instead of setting up through geometry, you would disconnect this. We're gonna set up mask one. And now when you click right here through the import settings, you go to mask one. You're gonna find your object that you have. So if it's unclicked right now, nothing's on fire you go ahead and click that and then go ahead and set the vertex color that you want to be on fire you enable that so right now i have the red is the edges of the wings so now when we play this we will have our um, product there we go so that's how you export vertex colors through blender